If you are a Filipino, yet you still have trouble understanding or learning Filipino words, then this video is for you. Magandang araw! I'm Big Brain Thinker and welcome to my YouTube channel. Ang video na ito ay tungkol sa pag-aaral ng mga di-familiar na salitang Filipino na natagpuan ko sa mga libro o tekstong nabasa ko. Kasabay nito, galawa din ako ng mga sarili kong pangungusap mula sa mga salitang Filipino na nabanggit sa presentasyon. But before we start, let's discuss the following objectives. First is to expand one's Filipino vocabulary skills o mapalawak ang kasanayan, kaalaman, at kagamitan ng mga salitang Filipino bilang isang individual. Kalawa, to learn more Filipino words and effectively use them in any writing task, oral communication, or any conversational situations. Last but not the least, subukan ang iyong kaalaman o ang mga takeaways na iyong natutunan mula sa presentasyon. First word we have is pipitsagin, meaning push over, naive, mediocre, easily taken advantage of. Mediocre means it's not very good. Kung ang iyong pangarap ay maging isang mahusay na filmmaker balang araw, huwag gawing inspirasyon ang mga pipitsugin pelikula. If you want to be an aspiring filmmaker someday, never take inspiration from mediocre films. Number two, sanda means leaning on something. Huwag kang sumanda sa dingding dahil kung hindi ay madudumihan ang iyong puting sando. Don't lean against the wall because if not, well then your white shirt will get dirty. Numero trese, mapakunod. To scowl, to suddenly furrow, usually one's brow or forehead. Nung nakita niya ang mababang marka ng kanyang pagsusunit, tila napakunod ang kanyang noo. When he saw his tats having a low mark, his forehead seemed to furrow. 4. Saisai Value or Worth Ano ang saisai ng iyong mga panalangin kung wala kang lakas ng loob na kumilos patungo sa inyong mga pangarap? What's the worth of persistently praying if you don't even have the strength within yourself to take action towards achieving your dreams? Number 5. Elipores Now, Minion, Hensran, or Lucky Si Dominic ang leader ng gang at si Samuel, Bonbon, at dali naman ang kanyang mga alipores. Dominic is the leader of the gang while Samuel, Bonbon, and Sally are his henchmen. 6. Mistula Seem, seems like, appear. Adjective, seemingly. Dahil sa nakakatakot niyang Halloween costume na kanyang suot na yon, nang mistula siyang mamamatay tao na sinusundan ako. Because of his scary looking Halloween costume that he wore today, he seems to look like a murderer following me. 7. Benda Noun, bandage, wound dressing, or binding. Ang laki naman ng sugat mo, bakit hindi mo nilagay ng benda? Your wound is so big, why didn't you put a bandage on it? Numero 8. mag -usisa. Verb, to investigate, to inquire. Nang malaman niya na pinagchichismisan ang kanyang pinsan, hindi na siya nang usisa pa. When he found out that his cousin was being gossiped about, he did not inquire about the matter any further. 9. Humarurot to speed, to wish, to zoom. Away as in a car. Malapit ko na sanang makuha ang aking Shopee product kaso pumarurot paalis ang motorsikto ng delivery rider. I was about to get my Shopee product when the delivery rider's motorcycle sped away. Number 10. Dumagsa. To go in large numbers, to deluge, to throng, to cram, to crowd. Maraming vloggers ang dumagsa sa kainan ni Rosmar. Many vloggers flock to Rosmar's restaurant. 11. Umindak To dance gracefully Umiindak ang mga estudyante sa club habang nagiinuman. The students were dancing in the club while drinking. Kapa o kopita Goblet, glass, cup or cupful Sa ritual na ito, dapat uminom ng dugo ng hayop mula sa kopita na ito. In this ritual, it's required to drink an animal's blood from this goblet. 13. Hipan To blow out something or to blow on or at something. Kahit kaarawan ng lola ko na yun, hinipan ko ang kandila ng birthday cake para sa kanya. Even though it was my grandma's birthday today, I was the one who blew the candle for her. 14. Magmulat To open one's eye or consciousness. Biglang nagmulat ang aking paningin noong narinig ko ang kagandahan ng boses niya. My eyes suddenly opened when I heard the beauty of his voice. 15. Mapagtanto To come to realize something, to come to understand something. Ngayon lang niya napagtanto na hindi siya ang mahal. He realizes only now that he is not the one who is loved. 16. Kiyawan Clamoring, 
yelling. Nagkiyawan ang lahat sa teatro pagkatapos ng kanilang pagganap. Everyone in the theater cheered after their performance. 17. Bugso. Noun. Sudden rush, blast of rain, wind, storm, fire, disease, etc. Sudden outburst, paroxysm of emotion, massing of crowds, of people, animals, etc. Sudden abundance of goods in the market, harvest, etc. Nalaman namin ang kadahilanan sa biglaang bugso ng mga tao sa teatro. We learned the reason for the sudden rush of people to the theater. 18. Manohol. Verb to bribe. Kahit hindi siya kumuha ng appointment schedule, nauna pa rin siya sa pila dahil marunong siyang magmanhol. Even though he didn't get an appointment schedule, he was still first in line because he knew how to bribe. 19. Indak Noun Tapping one's feet, dancing Marong indakan na mangyayari sa convention center pagkatapos ng kasal. A dancing event will be held at the convention center after the wedding. 20. Kalat karin. Verb to drag something. Malapit ko na sana siyang suntukin, kaso kinalatkad ako ni Brent paalis. I was about to punch him when Brent dragged me away. 21. Malumanay. Adjective. Mild, gentle, familiar. Adverb. Gently, slowly. Siya ang unang librarian na nakilala ko na may malumanay na aura. She was the first librarian that I met with a gentle aura. 22. Sapuhin. Verb. To hold or support something with one's hands. Dahil sa tindi ng pagkahila ni mama sa buhok ko, sinapok ko kaagad ang aking ulo para maibsan ang hapde. Because of the intensity of mom's pulling on my hair, I immediately grabbed my head to relieve the pain. Number 23. Mahagila. Verb. To be able to grasp something. Mas nagmulat pa ang kanyang mga mata nang nahagilap niya ang tape recorder malapit sa mesa. His eyes widened even more when he caught sight of the tape recorder near the table. 24. Maini. Verb. To feel bored or to feel impatient. Mas lalong nainip si Lisa nung nakita niya ang haba ng pila sa loob ng bangko. Lisa became even more impatient when she saw the length of the queue inside the bank. 25. Umungol. Verb, to growl, to howl, to groan. Sa sobrang sakit ng kanyang tubo dahil sa nangyaring aksidente, hindi na niya napigilan na umungol na malakas. With his knee in so much pain from the accident, he couldn't stop howling loudly. Quiz time, you can pause the following slides to answer at your own pace. The following includes identification, fill in the blanks, and answer key. Sana sagutin niyo ang mga napresentang aktibidad na may tapat at integridad. Enjoy! Salamat sa paglalaan ng iyong oras dito upang matuto ng mga bagong salitang Filipino. Till next time, paalam!